get to it. Okay, so we have our two um MFT that X. So F for file. And now once you have that that trias image that's going to our files, right? Let's go back up a little. And what we need for this one right now, so your e your triage image from Cape, which is the tool that we use, this is the file that you need to do this sort of parsing. In and let's see if we we'll get it in here. Perfect. Uh, so now you have to give it the format CSV. CSV and then location where you want this file to be available. Users. Users. Administrator. No, we'll do desktop. Yes. All right. And then again, CSV. Pardon me. CSBF, and now the name of the file, which will be output. And let's put something that we remember this, msd.csb, um, no capital, csb. All right, so this should work for the parsing. And there we go, give it some time. All right. So next, let's access let me put down some of this. So this is our new file. So again, let's just keep it super basic and go back to our tools. Um, I guess timeline will help us look at all these files. Hit open and now I have it right here. So we'll use a brand new one. And then we can just go and scoop it. By the way, let me see what kind of skins I have on this thing. Um, plugins, tabs, tools. Do I have the action control F? Plants, schemes. All right. Um, high contrast, dark gray. Um, much better. All right. So let's look at our newly created file. That's it. Okay, so what this is getting ready. I'll give you a little contest on why we're doing this because I need to know what came out of that, that zip document file. So all I know, it's that this brother file, that zip, that zip, guilty is enter in January 1st, uh, 2024. So let's see if we can use this. No, let's just keep a basic. Um, our, our file names are imported. And let me see how many full mode on the screen. So I can use the better benefits of this because now we can scroll all these comments current path very important and then what i need by here i'm going to narrow down events to that night 2024 first first all right and yeah we have the occurrences on this created Great, this is good information. And 
currently looking for some names like file size is directory that this mark right here means it is has been deleted so this is the parent path which remember it belongs to each smith so let's narrow down to this this user's execution and let's focus on these extensions and names so our guy is a dot zip. Um, and see if we can get anything. I can narrow down to the extension, but I definitely want to Let me see the order of this. Oh, this is, you know, earlier. All right, this is better. All right. Um, And let's just give it a little scroll. Because what I'm looking for is the, the extraction of this folder. It's Smith. I remember it was hour 20. So let's go down to that. Which hour 20. Where is it at? Modify. Okay, 17. 18, this is 12. 12, it could have happened on the two. Last modify. Zero, zero, no. All right, so this is the latest time. Let's see what we got. This is very far from what we're looking for. Let's hit the middle. Well, let's just do this quickly. We know we have a that file document and let's get that time, that zip document. And then let's grab that timing. Um, and see what comes up. So yeah, this is the hour I was looking for. Let's copy that. Let's just narrow it down to to that time. Okay, so. Was 20, 20, 24, and then maybe a space, and then 20, 24. Um, give you a small accuracy on this. Let's just go from here and see if we could keep the execution. Let's Get this off the filter. No more file names. And yeah, we have all these 
information that will help us figure out what happened after this was open. So it's a good time sequence. That seven, that temp, download, we'll install. Download. Let's get closer to that file because that zip was opening. Extension.json. So there's our document zip, when raw version that zip that link. Um, I don't think this is in the correct order of creation because this makes more sense. The document was opened by a tool named Wimra, or maybe use. And then these files right here, you see version that uh, has a coincidence with time. Look at the sequence on uh, 24, 34. So whatever came out of that document, that zip, from the user is Smith actually created these files. So we got document and then document.link, and then this is a script and then an executable. So that's confirmation. And also these were the two answers for this, um, for these questions, a script and a document of those that came out. So I have to go further into the investigation, but I just wanted to highlight how can these tools be used into forensics. So the master file table, MFT is the table into disk that records all creation and deletion of files is always super useful for forensics, this forensic investigation. So in my position right now, this is just one part of what I need to do because next I will have to pivot into files and event logs. So this is it for the video and thank you.